Alright, so I'm just... I got a new computer and stuff, so... Um... I just want to make sure everything works. I tested stuff a bunch, so the audio should be okay. I'm just making sure, I'm just kind of moving my hands around in front of the camera to make sure there isn't a bunch of um, lagging, because my computer before really sucked. Um, I mean, it was okay for what I needed it to do, but for streaming it was not ideal. And, uh, oh, where's my... I wanted to grab my mechanical pencil and just kind of test the new setup. So, I, while I was testing audio and video settings, I was, um, I kind of sketched out a lady. Oh no. I kind of sketched out a lady with long hair and a little flower crown. I don't know what her deal is. Maybe she just got back from Fire Festival and has like a thousand yard stare or something. But uh, we'll see where this one goes. listening to uh, one of my old loves from high school, Dad or Rock. It's one of my favorite albums like freshman year of high school. Anyway, sorry if the quality's not the best. I'm still kind of ironing things out with this new setup. And I'll keep testing it to make sure I can kind of get stuff right, because I know things are really hoopty right now. Also, I don't remember if I said, but uh, if you hear like a, like a faint hum in the back, it's probably my fan. Because it's kind of toasty. And I didn't want to boil alive with this uh, fill light on. She looks like uh, one of those pictures of Instagram models you'd see on like a majestic casual video. I used to listen to stuff on there a fair bit um, like five years ago. I think they're still a thing. to rotate this so maybe it's a little easier to see a little better. So I'm just filling in the folds on her shawl. Nothing crazy.
just kind of smoothen out the jaw here. Oh, I see what happened. Here, I need to reload Spotify. Anyway, I should be able to stream more regularly now. Like I said, I gotta iron out some stuff with the settings, but uh, I think I've got things pretty much where I need them to be. I just gotta mostly figure out, I think, the video bitrate and stuff. I don't know that much about streaming, just the very basics. So I'll hit up Dr. Google about that a little later. Ask uh, Mr. Duck Duck Go Esquire. And after I after I finish up this stream here, I'll post a picture of uh, the sketch people are interested in seeing. I give her dark roots. And a few hairs out of place. Kind of puffy lower eyelids. Shade around the eye a tiny bit. now. Something I run into a lot when I draw is, I don't know how it is for other people who like to draw, but the left and right sides always turn out very different, like even in how I draw the eyebrows. It's kind of annoying, but whatever, it's fun. a little bit of a cleft chin and a mole on her nose. Ah. Finish filling in the shawl here. bit of her dress. Mm. And you know what I hate? I hate ASMR. It's a hot take, I know, but uh, I don't know. I don't find it relaxing at all. It just, uh, it makes me mad. 
like irrationally mad. It's like it's like having an itch in your brain. I don't know. It's just frustrating to listen to, especially the the stuff with the whispering. I've listened to maybe one thing ever that was relaxing, and I didn't enjoy it that much then either. I felt like I was wasting my time. I do like when people do like parody ASMR though, like somebody did uh, Todd Howard, uh, one of the guys from Bethesda, um, talking about trying to seduce somebody in the bathroom at a um, Fleetwood Mac concert. And he's like all whispery talking about the new Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I'll post a link to that in the description later. Because it's very goofy. I think this is the first Data Rock song I ever listened to. I think they're still performing. Uh, their their shtick now is a uh, bunch of dancers, everybody in red track suits, all that kind of stuff. We'll make the trim around her collar dark. boobs. And a mole there. Does she have a tattoo? I'll put a black-eyed Susan on her shoulder. I've uh, I'm always been really interested in the symbolism and stuff of flowers and stuff like uh, how people in Edwardian Victorian times would uh, send each other bouquets to communicate specific messages. Um, let me check something. Uh, black eyed Susan symbolism. Also, if you ever need a pop filter on the fly, just cut up some pantyhose. It works great. That's what I did. If you're a man and you don't have pantyhose, you know, and you have to go to the store to get some, if any women look at you funny, just say, look, it's for the sound quality, okay? You know. They symbolize encouragement and motivation. It's very positive, I like that. And I'll put some swirly bits around it so it's not just a tiny flower, even though realistically that's what people would normally get, just a little flower. I'll get to the flower crown in a second. In the meantime, enjoy this song about, um, is this the one about having gay sex with E.T.? Yeah, it totally is.
I'll put some whatever in the back. It look like she has a nimbus, like she's a saint of uh, going to Coachella and being an Instagram model. There we go, that's what she is. Then I'll put a little diamond in her chest. With the Instagram logo in it. What should her name be? She looks like a Kaylee. Um, but we'll spell it weird. So, K E I K A E L. <laughs> Maybe, no, we need an apostrophe in there so it's like Kaylee. K. There we go. Patron. Saint. Of Coachella, just Coachella, if nothing else. You know, if other music festivals want their own, uh, want their own saint, they can go have a coke and a smile about it, or get their own. Oop! I just ran out of lead for my pencil, and I don't remember what I did with my mechanical pencil lead. I think I have another one kicking around. If not, I'll just finish it off with a number two Ticonderoga. Oh, there it is. I did have another one. Anyway, patron saint of Coachella. Instagram models. And, um, Ebola. They're always, they always like pile on weird stuff with the, with the saints. I'm, I've just never raised Catholic, so I don't really know that much. I know some of the interesting ones. I remember a while back, um, my mom and I, we, she had a reference photo of a saint with a worm sticking out of his thigh. It was a guinea worm, but he wasn't the patron saint of guinea worms. Let me look up. And he was like the patron saint of knees and some other stuff. Saint with guinea worm. Anyway, guinea worm is gross. So his name is uh, Saint Rock? Roche? I don't know. R O C H. Um, what does he stand for? Patron Saint of Dogs, Dog Lovers, and I think also Knees. But you know, had a weird worm in his legs, so that's cool. I'm gonna wrap up home girl here. I need to look at my phone real quick so I know what the Instagram logo looks like. I see it every day, but it doesn't quite stick. Oh, they simplified it. So now it's a square and a circle and a little dot in the corner. If I were using color for this, I'll just kind of render in a little gradient looking thing. Does she need anything else? She looks pretty well done to me. I just wanted to do a quick thing to kind of test out the setup and make sure it was somewhat passable. The quality could definitely use some work, but we'll work on that as we go. But anyway, I can stream more often now that I have a more reliable setup, so I'll probably do Monday through Friday 
in the early afternoons. And yeah, it'll just be here. If things don't work, I'll just stream on my phone from Instagram or Periscope or something. So... So I think that about does it for me. Uh, here's the thing. Let me just... Here we go. So, looks like a lady. I'll scan her and put her up so you guys can see a little better. And I think that about does it for me. So, uh, later.